Roswell Flight Test Crew here at CES 2020 in fabulous Las Vegas, Nevada. And I'm talking to Maury Covington over at the X Dynamics booth. How you doing, Maury? Very good, sir. Good to see you again. Good to see you again. Now, I understand you guys have got something new and very high speed for us here at the show. What is it? Let me, let me show you the Evolve 2. So we've got all carbon monobody. It's a monocoque design, which means single skin. The whole thing is built out of carbon fiber on the top. The structure of a monocoque body is incredibly strong, like the uh, egg shell. So you remember putting an egg in your hand, you try to squeeze it, you can't break it. Same physics involved here. So we end up being over 50 times stronger than injected molded plastic. Underside, the bottom is made of magnesium and is a heat sink. The vibration resistance is better than aluminum, zinc, and steel even. Micro Four Thirds camera, removable gimbals. The lenses can be used by any manufacturer as long as they're approximately the same size. One of the smallest drones, if not the smallest drone with a Micro Four Thirds camera, CFAS and Micro SD. We have front obstacle avoidance on both sides, sensors underneath. We have a LiDAR instead of sonar, so it's more accurate, it's laser. Two optical flow sensors for binocular vision. Like the drone is flying now on the show, it's using those to bounce off the ground, view where it is, no GPS needed, rock solid, right in the middle where it needs to be. Passive cooling system, you can see here. Also two LEDs, so at night if you're flying uh, and you wanna use just the vision positioning system, you can turn on the LEDs to light up the ground. Weatherproofing up to IP43. In addition to that, we cover the windings on the motors to further weather resist so it can take some, you know, maybe a light drizzle. And here it is, ladies and gentlemen, the pièce de résistance, the still unbeaten X Dynamic remote control. And I understand you've made it even better. We have, we have, we're trying. Dual screen still. This time, not only is the bottom screen touch screen, but the top as well. What we've done is we've added two fittings for antenna. Depending on where you're at, you may need more omnidirectional antennas if you're in an area where you're gonna be close and you just wanna really boost your signal and make it strong. Or if you're going for distance, you can put some directional antennas on here and get up to 11 kilometers. That's pretty impressive, wow. And of course the clamshell design, so it keeps itself safe during travel. I don't know why more people don't do that. This is a full size HDMI. We can also get up to 33 minutes of flight time. All right, so the question everybody wants to know when a hot new piece of tech like this comes out is, when's it gonna be available and what's it gonna cost? We're looking like April, May and uh, $36.99. So this is more of a professional operations drone, aerial cinematography, that sort of thing. Definitely made for filmmakers. One of the motors is enough to carry the entire drone, just to give you an idea of you know the power we have. It needs to be nimble, it needs to be accurate. Definitely a filmmaker's tool. So this drone and the packaging can go in the overhead compartment of a plane, so you don't have to check your bag. Of course, all the batteries are just under the threshold as well for the FAA. All right, Mari, well, it looks awesome. I know people will be anxious for us to do a full review on it, so thanks very much for the peek. Yes, sir. Thank you. All right, and from CES 2020 in fabulous Las Vegas, Nevada, this is the Roswell Flight Desk Crew signing off. <laughs>